Veronica, you're chasing the governor. And of course, no matter what happens in New Jersey, if there's ever a way to link it to the governor and create a controversy, somebody in the news will find a way to do it. What do you got? Right. Well, Governor Christie last week had one heck of a week. I was exhausted from it. I'm certainly not sure how he made it through the week. It started with the budget address. He had then he had his first town hall of 2015. Then he was down in Maryland for CPAC. Uh, he also spoke in California over the weekend. And now they've rounded out that week with a bit of an up over a settlement involving Exxon Mobil. Now the desired amount is rumored to be around nine billion dollars, but the settlement was for 250 million. Some are calling it a huge scandal for Governor Christie. I actually spoke with Senator Ray Lesniak. He called it a bad deal. I don't understand, and most people can't understand, how nine plus nine billion plus economic damage can be reduced to 250 million dollars. This needs a very, very close scrutiny by the public. Now in studio, we have Assemblywoman Nancy Munoz to give a little insight into that and share with us some of what she's working on. So what do you make of the fact that that settlement was so low compared to what was sought? Well, you know, first of all, we weren't, nobody, none of us were in the room. None of the legislators were in the room. And it's a settlement between the DEP and a private corporation. Why is it every time something like that happens, I mean, whether the governor had anything to do with it or not, it becomes a front page story? Well, you know, it's the people make it their front page story. It's not my front page story, it's Senator Lesniak's front page story. So, you know, he he has refineries in his district. He represents Linden, um, and it's really close to the Bayonne Bay, which is where it happens. But it's, but, it's, but it's not just about creating a scandal, it's about looking at Governor Christie's governing style. If he wants to run for president, then you're gonna have to go through the gauntlet. Why should he be given a special pass? We have to look into it. And when it comes to the ExxonMobil deal, yes, ExxonMobil did contribute to the RGA. Meanwhile, having a dealing with the state, and then with through Governor Christie, they paid less than we expected them to pay. So these are all valid questions, even if it's not a scandal. The governor's been in office for now for six years, so he's an easy target in this particular story. I think whoever was the governor, you know, it's a back, it's a deal that, that they made. We don't know what, the, what it was. I mean, you said $50 million to clean it up. $50 million they got to clean it up. He's not an, he's not an easy target. He's not an easy target. He's a fair target because those are the stakes when you're Just running for the White House. Just give me a quick, grade him, as a, grade him as a potential president. I think he, I think he has potential. I think, I think all the candidates have, have potential. Time will tell. Assemblywoman Nancy Munoz, thank you for coming in.